Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are. First of all, thanks for choosing this course and welcome to what is SDLC course. In this course, we are going to talk about the different phases of SDLC, what is SDLC means and we'll get a deep dive into this uh, acronym. This SDLC term is being used in the software IT industry there are a lot of interview questions are also being asked. This is a very good first topic to know anyone wants to get started into the software industry or if you have experience in software industry also when you are going for the interviews, it is a good idea to just refresh the terms and what it means. This helps, you know, this is a very short course. This gives uh, you enough information to answer most of the interview questions. Let's get started. Okay, the SDLC stands for Software Development Life Cycle. This is a step-by-step -step process to develop software applications or software products. Broadly, there are six phases in SDLC. First phase is called Requirement Gathering and Analysis Phase. In this phase, the requirements of the software application or product that the team is going to build are being gathered, documented and also analyzed. This is the first phase of the SDLC. The second phase of the SDLC is design phase. In this design phase, based on the deliverables, the deliverables are the outcomes or tangible artifacts of the state uh, of the first phase requirement gathering and analysis all these things will become input to this design phase and the design team will analyze the requirements and uh, design and the analysis documents and create a design and the third phase is development or coding phase sometimes this is called implementation phase also depends on the context but Generally, you know, for this context, for this SDLC phases, let us stick to develop development or coding. In this coding phase, the developers or the development team who are actually developing the software application or the product will take the design documents. If there are any design documents, if not the discussions, whatever the discussions they had in the design along with the requirement gathering analysis documents, the developers or development team will develop the code. Actually, this is the crux of software development lifecycle. This is where actual application is being built. Okay, And the fourth phase is testing phase. In this testing phase, the develop, developed software application or the developed product software product being tested. This will be tested against the requirements what are being documented okay generally this testing will be happening in multiple small phases called unit testing phase integration testing phase user acceptance testing phase user acceptance testing is the testing being performed by the users for whom this application or the software application or product is being developed. So they are not generally they will not be part of this uh, 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 team. They will be actual users. Okay. This testing will be performed by that users to make sure their requirements are met with this uh, designed and developed application. So that happens in this testing phase. This is one of the important and crucial phases also. Then the fifth phase is deployment phase this deployment phase actually in this deployment phase what happens is it is called sometimes go live phase or production phase okay this is when the actual user will be actively use the software application or the product okay this is called deployment phase during this deployment phase after the testing approval the team the deployment team will deploy the code what is being developed into the environment where 
this can be tested with uh, use cases or with different scenarios okay and also it will be available to the actual user this testing and the difference between testing and deployment is testing will be done internally within the software uh, company or software organization deploy after deployment this software application will be used will be available for the actual users to reuse it day to day okay after this deployment the last and final phase of the software development life cycle is maintenance and support phase in this phase the uh, users will be using this system if there are any bugs or issues they will report this information to the organization or the organization will gather that information and uh, the developers will fix the code if required or any configuration changes that required to fix the issue that is uh, reported in this maintenance and support phase okay this is a uh, very uh, small short and clean uh, step by step uh, phases of the software development life cycle throughout this course i am planning to take one example so that it will become easy and clear for everyone to understand how we are going to uh, go through these phases and and also uh, for the reference or for explanation perspective this will be helpful okay the example that we are going to take in this course for this stlc what is stlc is as follows these are the following following is an example that is being used in each phase build a software application for an imaginary bank called sf bank let us call it as sf bank okay there are broadly two kinds of requirements functional requirements and non functional requirements functional requirements are sf bank website to have a landing page to enter username and password with two buttons submit and cancel button when the user enters the username and password and his uh, and hit submit button software validates the credentials and respond back with the user account balance details and non functional requirements are maximum 10 users are allowed after uh, user enters username password the software should respond back within 10 seconds okay this is the example that we are going to use as a reference in all these faces uh, in the corresponding uh, sessions okay thanks for watching and looking forward to see you in my next section